Okay, hello everyone, I'm Elin. I'm glad to be here and introduce the cute animal called Red Panda to you. Let's get started. Red Panda is a small mammal native to Southwest China. They have reddish brown fur and long fluffy tails. And because of their short forelegs, they have a wobby tail. It's an arboreal animal whose main food is bamboo shoots. And under natural conditions in the wild, it's a solitary animal. Its main activity period is from dusk to dawn. And their natural enemies of red panda includes snow leopard, weasel, and human. When they feel threatened or dangerous, they try to climb onto the tree to escape the danger. But once able to escape, they can stand on their hand. They can stand on their hand them to make them appear larger and use their sharp front paws to defend themselves. Just like the picture. It's very cute, right? Okay. So there are four main threats facing red panda respectively. They are hunting in wild, habitat degradation, habitat loss or fragmentation caused by deforestation and low natural birth rate. According to reports, in past 50 years, the number of red panda in China has fallen by 40%. And as the number of adults living in the wild is estimated to be less than 10,000, red pandas have, has been classified as endangered species by International Union for Conservation of Nature. Although the red panda is protected by the laws of the countries within their scope, their numbers are still declining due to the threats of habitat destruction, habitat fragmentation, poaching, and low birth rate. In fact, small groups of animals have fewer opportunities to communicate with each other. Red pandas will face the danger of inbreeding, reduced genetic diversity, or even extinction. In southwest of China, some people hunt red pandas for their fur, especially their high wall fluffy tails to make hats. These furs are also often used in local cultural celebration. In weddings, um, according to tradition, the groom will carry animal skins and the newlyweds will also wear good luck red panda tail hats. In the past, red panda would be caught and sold to the zoo. In recent years, due to Washington Con Convention, this number has dropped significantly. However, poaching continues and red panda are often sold to private collectors at a high prices. In some areas of Nepal and India, red pandas are still kept as pets. All countries with red panda have taken protective measures against illegal hunting. However, the, con the conservation measures formulated by various countries are different. The People's Republic of China has established 35 national nature reserves covering 42.4% of red panda's habitats. When it comes to India, there are 20 protected areas in the red panda's habitats and joint policies for the protection of red pandas. What's more, there are five nature reserves in Bhutan that supports the breeding and protection of red pandas. <clears throat> in fact, it's just not red pandas but many animals are facing survival crisis due to human activities. We should try to strike a balance between development and environmental protection to achieve sustainable development. At the same time, it's necessary to solve the problem of illegal hunting in order to give the animals a safe home. <clears throat> um, that's the end of my report. Thank you for listening.